to see uh, if it is a really more transmissible variant than Omicron, which is not easy to be because Omicron is so transmissible that it will be difficult to be more transmissible than Omicron. And if you are not more transmissible than Omicron today, you are not a variant which will win the competitions. So it's very early and preliminary information. And I don't think for the moment we should be worried with this information because we will have a lot of additional information like that in the coming weeks. It is not because it has more uh, mutation that it has more transmissibility. I, th I don't think we can say that. But what is sure is that if it has the perfect type of mutations which allows more transmissibility, then we should worry about it. We will be aware of a series of new variants in the coming weeks and months. So it's not a surprise to see that um, new variants uh, did emerge in some part of Europe because we are facing a very important wave today of transmission of contaminations. So at each time the virus replicates, the risk of new variants emerge. The uh, Omicron variant seems to be maybe 200 or 300 percent more transmissible than the Delta variant, so much more transmissible. So now we need to find a new variant which is probably at least 50 percent more transmissible than Omicron. The virus is very happy without causing any damage to the cells or to the human bodies because the longer the body is living, the more the virus can multiply and replicate. What could be bad news if a new variant emerge is if it is more virulent, more dangerous, or and if it escapes to the available vaccines, if we need to have new formulations of the existing vaccine to fight against it. Of course, there is also another aspect which is about the testing. If the PCRs cannot detect them, that would be also uh, an additional difficulty to deal with it. <music>